Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in. So tonight, we're going to rank all of the Twisted Sister Studio songs uh, from my least favorite to my favorite. Um, so, first off, I want to sort of uh, go over the songs that I'm going to be counting and the ones that I'm not going to be counting. Of course, anything that is a part of a major studio album, such as Under the Blade, Can't Stop Rock and Roll, Stay Hungry, Come Out and Play, Love is for Suckers, they all are going to count. As well as the bonus tracks that were on these um, Spitfire um, releases. So this one, Can't Stop Rock and Roll, had three bonus tracks. Come Out and Play had King of the Fools. There was four on this one. Those songs are going to count as well. As is the bonus tracks on Still Hungry. The, uh, you know, Never Say Never, Blasting Fast and Loud, etc., etc. Um... And I'm also going to count 30, the studio, the last studio song they ever recorded. That, of course, was written by Dee Snyder on that uh, Going Country show and then re-recorded into a Twisted Sister track. So that all will count. The songs I'm not counting are the songs on A Twisted Christmas. I'm not counting the songs on the Stay Hungry um, Anniversary Edition that had the second disc of demos. I'm not counting any of those. Uh, nor am I counting anything on the Club Days albums that were not then re-recorded for one of these albums that I already mentioned. So, uh, that's how I'm going to um, come up with this list here. So, there are 66 songs in total. Let's get into this. Coming in the bottom of the pack. My least favorite Twisted Sister song of all time. And I knew this was my least favorite Twisted Sister song because it's really the only one I just cannot stomach. And as much as I love Twisted Sister, I think this song really embodies everything that was that went wrong with the Come Out and Play album. So it's off of this bad boy right here. And my least favorite song, no, is not Leader of the Pack. It's Be Cruel to Your Skull. I just don't care for that one. Um, even Alice Cooper coming in and singing with Dee does not save that one for me. It's just, <clears throat> it's just too much. Um, I think on Stay Hungry... They really found a balance between being a hard rock, heavy metal band and then having these sort of goofy tongue-in-cheek videos and appealing to sort of uh, the the younger, angstier teenage crowd. I mean, I was in my early teens when I discovered Twisted Sister all those years later, so it worked. But on this one, they just sort of went too far into that sort of goofy, um, clownish, kind of over-the-top antics their video like the videos and whatnot the image it was just too goofy it was too clownish and they no longer really i think appealed to the hard rock and heavy metal fan and a lot of people so be cruel to your skull to me is the song that really embodies that i've not really ever cared for it so that is definitely my least favorite twisted sister song i'm not gonna harp on all these songs like that one i just wanted i just had a lot to say about that one coming in second from the bottom number 65 i'm gonna go with i'm so hot for you Never cared a whole lot for that one either. It's just sort of forgettable. Coming in at number 64, we're going to go back to Come Out and Play. I Believe in You. It's the ballad that feels like they were trying way too hard to have a hit ballad, and it just doesn't come across, in my opinion. Number 63, we're going to go with I've Had Enough. Yeah, just sort of a forgettable track off of this album here. Just a lot better songs on You Can't Stop Rock and Roll. Number 62, Come Back. Um... Not really one of my favorites from the club days. Uh, they then re-recorded it for this one. Um, I just kind of prefer the other three. Not really one of my favorite Twisted Sister songs. Coming in at number 61, we have You Want What We Got. It, again, it just kind of feels too... It almost feels like it was lyrics written by or written for like a fifth grader. So I think it's just another one of those songs that sort of went too far over the edge. And may come out and play sort of a sort of a lackluster album in my opinion. Coming in at number sixty, we're gonna go with the bonus track off here called "One Man Woman." Decent song, sort of forgettable. There's better tracks, so this is sort of where it falls. Coming in at number fifty nine, "I'll Never Grow Up Now" off of the eighty five release of "Under the Blade." Coming in at number sixty eight, fifty eight. I'm sorry. We have Statutory Date, just sort of a meh bonus track off of this one right here. We're going to stick with the same album, number 57. We're going to go with another bonus track, Feel Appeal. If it wasn't for that really banging riff in that song, I don't know that I would care much for the song, but that riff is incredible. 
coming in at number 56, You're Not Alone, Suzette Song. Decent enough ballad, just not one of my favorites. Coming in at number 55, this one may be a hot take, controversial, whatever. Leader of the Pack. I don't hate the song so much as I hate what it did for Twisted Sister's career. Poor choice for a single. Should not have been so close to the front of the album. I don't think I would mind it so much if it was like a B-side somewhere, if it was buried deep on an album and not released as a single. But I just think what it did for Twisted Sister's career is far worse than the actual cover. Coming in at number 54, I'm going to go with Day of the Rocker. Nice kind of slow-paced bluesy rock song. Um, you don't really think of Twisted Sisters, a band that does like really bluesy tracks, but that one's pretty cool, actually. Coming in at number 53, we're going to go with I Believe in Rock and Roll off of this one. Uh, I can appreciate what D was going for. I don't think he quite pulled it off lyrically that well, but it's still a cool concept and a pretty, pretty heavy song. Coming in at number 52, we're going to go with Run for Your Life off of Under the Blade. Coming in at number 51... The title track to Love is for Suckers. Not not really one of my favorites, but still a pretty cool track. I think Love is for Suckers has better songs, actually. Coming in at number 50, Plastic Money. Pretty cool track, re-recorded for Still Hungry. Staying on the same album, number 49, Rock and Roll Saviors. Um, I can imagine how cool that would have been in, in the late 70s to have that kind of rock and roll anthem coming from these guys um didn't really have a place on the 80s albums because disco was really not as popular by that point and come 2004 same deal but uh and i'm not a disco hater maybe you know maybe it's because i didn't grow up in in the 70s but uh if rock but still rock and roll saviors to me even though it declaims or it proclaims that disco is dead um if it wants to talk about modern pop music that's kind of that's kind of how I feel about today's modern pop music, so I, I enjoy the sentiment there. All right, coming in at number 48, we're going to go with a pretty good ballad off of Love is for Suckers. That is You Are All That I Need. Um, I like the song quite a bit. I think it's a decent ballad. Probably would have gotten more attention had Twisted Sister not overstayed their welcome by this point, but You're All That I Need, pretty good song. Coming in at number 47. You know I cry. Love the guitar solo in that song. Really, really cool stuff. Coming in at number 46, One Bad Habit. A little bit, little bit of a cheesy song, but still a lot of fun. Coming in at number 45, looking out for number one. Pretty cool deep cut on here. Number 44, I'm going to go with the album Closer. Yeah, right. I like that one quite a bit. Um, would have been really, really cool if that would have been some real drums and AJ Perro banging on them. Nothing against Joe, uh, no, nothing against uh, Joey Franco, but uh, man, I would love to heard AJ drive that song. Coming in at number forty-three, we're gonna go with Four Barrel Heart of Love," one of the bonus tracks on here. Sticking with the same album, number forty-two is "I'll Take You Alive." Number forty-one, another pretty cheesy track off this one. I want this night to last forever, but it's so upbeat and it just sort of. I don't know, just sort of puts a smile on my face and it makes me feel good. Cheesy or not, I dig it. Coming in at number 40, Out on the Streets. I think this is a song that could have absolutely been a single off of Come Out and Play. Coming in at number 39, we're going to go with 30. Really cool track. Last studio recording Twisted Sister did before AJ Parra would pass away and the band would disband. Cool song. I like it quite a bit. Really makes me feel like they should have released a studio album some point between 2001 and 2011, 2012. Because if, if uh, D obviously could still write, so that would have been cool to have. And 30 sounds great, so good stuff. Coming in at number, th number 38, we're going to go with the title track to come out and play. Really cool, heavy track. One of the best songs on this album. Coming in at number 37, The Power and the Glory. Coming in at number 36, the Ultra Heavy Destroyer. And the version on the original 1982 release of Under the Blade is better than the one on this one. In my opinion, at least. Number 35, We're Gonna Make It. The uh, B-side opener to You Can't Stop Rock and Roll. Pretty cool track. Number 34, Hot Love. Poppy song, yes. 
I think it could have been a bigger hit, again, had Twisted Sister not really been on their deathbed at this point in time. Um, but it's just a cool, catchy pop song. I think had, had Twisted Sister sort of survived the mid-80s a little bit better than they did, that probably could have been a bigger hit. Coming in at number 33, the ultimate Twisted Sister concert opener. What You Don't Know Sure Can Hurt You. Great song. Great introductory song for the band. Number 32. And I did separate these two tracks for this list. 32 is going to be Street Justice. 31. SMF. We're getting into great territory here. I mean, I've I've liked a lot of these songs for a while, but from here on up, it's like was so hard to rank because these are all great songs. Number 30. A uh, deep cut on this album that I really love tonight. Great song. Number 29. Blast and Fast and Loud. Killer stuff. Number 28. Bonus track off of You Can't Stop Rock and Roll. Feel the Power. Heavy, fast-paced, banging rock track. Love that one. Maybe it's overplayed. Maybe it's not. I'm still ranking I Wanna Rock at number 27. Number 26. I really love this one. The uh, fourth bonus track off of Love Is For Suckers, I Will Win. Such a cool song. Really late 80s sounded, really dated, uh, but dang, is it a good song. I love I Will Win. Number 25, the bonus track off of Come Out and Play, King of the Fools. Should have been on the actual album because it's such a cool song. Slower track, sort of a ballad, but dang, is it a great song. I really love that one. 24, Stay Away From Captain Howdy. The first part of Horror Terria. 23. The Beast. Great song. Great deep cut. Took me a long... I've always liked the song, but it actually took me a long time to really appreciate it. Um, I've, I've come around on it, actually. <laughs> a couple years ago, The Beast would have probably been quite a bit lower on my list, but I'm really starting to love that one the way a lot of people do. So The Beast, number 23. Number 22. Overplayed or not... I still love We're Not Gonna Take It, and I still crank that song whenever I hear it on the radio. Coming in at number 21, Kill or Be Killed, the album closer to come out and play. Banging heavy rock track, one of the best on this album. Love that one. Number 20, another deep cut on this album that I really, really love, Me and the Boys. Really cool song. Number, number 19, Shoot Em Down. Great song. Love it. Love it. Staying on this album, number 18, Sin After Sin. Super heavy track. One of the heaviest in the band's catalog. Coming in at number 17, You've Got To, Ride to Live, Live to Ride. Great song. Coming in at number 16, the best song on this album, The Fire Still Burns. Would have sounded right at home on Under the Blade or You Can't Stop Rock and Roll. Heavy track. Really smokes most of the rest of this album. Great, great stuff. Number 15. Never Say Never. Love that one. Short to the point. Rocks hard. Love it. Coming in at number 14. Should have been a much bigger hit than it was. The Price. Great song. Really wish that would have been as big as We're Not Gonna Take It. And I Wanna Rock. Because I love that one. Um, I Everyone knows the We're Not Gonna Take It and I Wanna Rock videos. But The Price is my favorite Twisted Sister video. So, 14th favorite Twisted Sister song. Favorite Twisted Sister music video, The Price. Coming in at number 13. I really love this one. Heroes are hard to find. <clears throat> great, great song. Um, I spent a lot of nights listening to this. When, when this album came out, I kept this CD in my CD player for a long time because of that song. Heroes are hard to find is phenomenal. Number 12, songs that just missed the top 10. How about Tear It Loose, Off Under the Blade? Fast-paced, really kick-ass song, love it. Number 11, stay on this one. The title track, Under the Blade, killer stuff, love the riff. Amazing song, Under the Blade, comes in at number 11. So now we're going to break into my top 10. Number 10, the album opener to You Can't Stop Rock and Roll. The Kids Are Back, love it. Fantastic song. Staying on this album, number 9. The album closer and the title track, You Can't Stop Rock and Roll, classic Twisted Sister. Number eight, staying on this album, I Am, I'm Me, 
bigger hit over in the UK than it was here, but it's a phenomenal song. Blew me away the first time I heard it. I love the melody in that song that D sings with. Fantastic stuff. Coming in at number seven. One of the real unsung heroes of Twisted Sisters catalog. One of my favorite deep cuts off of this album right here. Don't Let Me Down. Love that song. Absolutely love it. One of my top ten favorite Twisted Sisters songs. I it, It's like the one song on this album that's not a hit, a concert staple, or a fan favorite. It just sort of, sort of seems to get forgotten or lost in the shuffle, but I love the song. Coming in at number six, Wake Up the Sleeping Giant. I think the one song on Love is for Suckers that everyone would agree is quintessential Twisted Sister. Fantastic song. Great album opener, Wake Up the Sleeping Giant. Number six. Number five, I love the guitar riff in this song. Like a knife in the back. And Mark Mendoza's bass playing kicks ass. I love this one. Like a knife in the back is such a cool song. And my favorite song off of You Can't Stop Rock and Roll. Coming in at number four. Love is for Suckers. The album, not the song. Love is for Suckers. Bonus track. If that's what you want. Man, do I love that song. If it was on the proper album, it would be my favorite song on the album. And it is, yes, one of my top five favorite Twisted Sister songs of all time. I love the song. I think it's a great song. Just sort of wasn't even on the album and just sort of buried on the Spitfire re-release bonus track. But man, to have a great a song like that so deep in your catalog, I don't even know what to say. Just such a great song. I love it to death. Coming in at number three, Burning Hell great song um what more can you say fantastic stuff number two we're gonna stay on this album the title track stay hungry punches you in the face heavy track fast paced i mean i love this song live too just the amount of energy that's in that song when they perform it live is incredible stay hungry is my second favorite twisted sister song my favorite twisted sister song of all time off of Under the Blade, and it is Bad Boys of Rock and Roll. Pretty much been my favorite Twisted Sister song since my ears first heard it. Um, the guitar riff is amazing. Gave me goosebumps the first time I heard it. Often still does. Love the lyrics. Um, that's a song that just spoke to me and is really sort of the embodiment of why I love this band, why I love this band, and why I became such a huge Twisted Sister fan. And such a huge SMF when I was... 13, 14 years old in the early 2000s. So long after Twisted Sisters' heyday, but they they sure caught me in their web. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right, so let me know in the comments below your favorite Twisted Sister songs. Rank them all if you would like. That would be cool. If you don't want to rank them all, give me your top five, top ten, whatever. If you like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future, and I will catch you next time.